god. It is honestly taking this lip a long time to go down. Mm. Hello, people! Hey guys, today I'm doing a tutorial. Well, so. Here's the thing, a couple of days ago, I had a little help from someone in a certain feature of my face, and I hadn't got that help done in about a year now, so I felt like it was time for some more help again. <laughs> and usually when I get that help that I need, um, it only takes two to three days for swelling to go down. But mama, I'm still looking like Kris Jenner on that vacation. <laughs> I am aware of the fact that it is pretty intense. Um, I feel like a blowfish, but a cute one because I got my glam on. So today that inspired me uh, to do a Kris Jenner inspired makeup tutorial. I'm just really excited. I really love Kris's makeup. It just looks so sophisticated and glam and it's a little bit more mature, which I love. This is just a fun video where I try to make the best of my face as much as I can. All right guys, the first thing I'm gonna use today is by Becca. It is called the First Light Priming Filter. They recently launched this and this helps making you look more awake. It perks up dull skin. I heard very, very good things about it so I'm gonna prime with it today. Mm. Oh my God, it smells really nice. Oh my God, it smells like lemon and I love lemon. Oh, so good. All right, now I'm gonna follow through using this Urban Decay Quick Fix Hydra Charged Complexion Prep Priming Spray. Try, try saying that after one use. Okie dokie, and now let's get glam. So I was watching Tati's video where James Charles did her makeup, and James started off by applying concealer to the nose area first because he felt like once he went in with the nose contour, it kind of rubbed away all the foundation. I know I've never talked about this, but this is the main reason why sometimes I have a beautiful nose contour and sometimes I just don't even try because most of the times when I go in with that brush and I contour my nose, nose it's gone like it has disrupted the base it is patchy messy it's got holes in it it's not a cute look and when I heard James say that I was like oh my god that's what I have so I am so excited to try his technique today his technique is by putting down a layer of concealer first so that when the foundation does rub away you still have a layer of concealer having your back girl <laughs> so i'm gonna go in with the makeup forever camouflage palette and i'm probably mixing these two shades right here on a sigma p88 brush so just focusing on the nose All right, for foundation today, I'm gonna go in with the Hourglass Foundation Stick. This one is in the color Alabaster, and I've seen this go, <laughs> I look noseless. I've seen this really blow up on YouTube lately, and I think, believe it or not, every time I've used this, I use too little, because so far I liked it, but I wasn't blown away by it but I've seen other people use a little bit more, believe it or not, than I do, and so I wanna give it another go because people love this foundation and I look even crazier right now. I call it art. And then with my Ofra little blender sponge, I'm gonna buff this all in. And then every time I feel like my sponge gets a little too dry, I hop in with my Evian spray and spritz, spritz, spritz. I love this stuff. I'm already starting to like the finish of the foundation way more now that I use a little bit more. So see, sometimes less is not better. More is better. More. Oh my god, I can't get over the fact how big my lips are right now. <laughs> it's time for some concealer. I'm gonna go for my favorite Tarte Shape Tape. I know you're getting sick and tired of every guru on the internet talking about this, but babies, it is life. I am shook by the coverage of that hourglass stick. Like, it is no joke. Mm. 
And as I lock it into place, I'm going to set it using my NARS loose powder in snow. For the crease, I'm first going into the brand spanking new Royal Peach Palette by Kylie Cosmetics and going in with the color Sorbet first. And with a bigger blending brush, I'm just softly defining the outer portion of my crease. Now going in with the color Sandy to define the outer V even more. And I'm using this Kylie blending brush for it that came with the Royal Peach palette. So first I'm laying down the color on this outer portion of my lid right here. And softly start using circular motions to buff it in. And then little by little you can start adding more of that shadow and work your way up into the outer V and crease. Now, Chris's definition usually lies within her lash line and the outer corners, so really try focusing on that for your look. Hopping over to one of my all-time favorite palettes by Jouer, I'm going into this color right here to define that outer portion of the eye even more. And of course, you can go as dark and intense as you like. Chris likes to go ham or soft. So I'm definitely going for the ham one today. Okay, now that we've really built focus on that outer portion here, it's time to focus on the lid, give it some love. From that same Jouer palette, I'm gonna use this color right here for the lid. I think this color is the perfect Chris color because it is glam and it has shine but it is nothing over intense or dramatic. And you wanna meet that color right up against the brown that we applied earlier. For that extra bit of zhuzh, I'm gonna take this Star Lip Powder by Makeup Forever and applying this to the center of the lid only. And this can be applied super crazy intense, but when you use a thin light layer, it just catches the light beautifully enough. back into the Jouer palette and taking that chocolate dark brown. And with an angled brush, I'm gonna smoke out my lash line. This is really gonna give you that Kris Jenner soft smokiness. And intensifying that some more using black. like that the perfect amount of smoke for the lower lash i'm going back into jouet's cafe eyeshadow and placing that all the way from the outer to inner corner and now with the smaller blending brush i'm softly smoking that out on the waterline i'm applying a little bit of jouet cream eyeshadow crayon in baroque this is stunning on the waterline And lastly, highlighting the inner corners just a tiny bit. Time to wrap up these eyes in some lashes. These are the New Bouncem Bombay Lashes. And of course, no Jenner look is completed without a fuck ton of lower lash line mascara. Mmm, the glam is starting to come on and I feel way better. This cold can suck my left toe. I feel great. What I'm now gonna do is contour and we all know that the Jenners and the Kardashians love their contour. So today I'm gonna go into my Makeup Geek Contour Palette and I'm gonna go in with these two colors right here. They're the two lightest colors. And for my brush, I'll be using this one by Sigma. This is the F90. And basically I'm just gonna tap it in both the colors lightly. You only need a little bit. And cut that cheek.
Now I actually want to try something. I feel like the Sigma one is almost too soft to do contour with and the Morphe one is the hairs of the brush aren't necessarily drier but I like the texture of this I think a little bit more. So I'm going to do the other side with the Morphe one. Yeah, the Morphe one just gets it on a little easier and faster and it's easier to blend the contour out using the Morphe one. So if you want to use a large fan brush for contouring, I definitely recommend the Morphe one. All right, now for nose contouring. <sighs> moment of truth, moment of truth. I really hope James Trick worked for me as well. I'm gonna go in with this Dose of Colors shader brush and I hope and pray. I always like to contour it right here. Oh, that is on. Oh, it's still on. Right here to give me a little bit more of a button nose. I okay, that was a little much, I know. And then also right here, right there, right there. That's it. That's what I do. And then I wipe half of that away. <laughs> all right, let's see if it does without taking away the foundation and all the hard work. Oh my god, I think it's working! All right, now I'm gonna bronze up my complexion a little bit more using this right here. This is by Verdial. It's the Instaglam Compact Deluxe Bronzing Powder Number Two, and this Morphe E3 brush. And I'm kind of gonna use it as bronzer and blush because Kris Jenner doesn't really wear a whole lot of blush. All right, let's clean up this contour and make it perfection. This is just loose powder and you apply it right underneath your contour to make it sharper, but mostly to clean up this area and get rid of any shadows or any mess. And while we leave this here doing its thing, it's time to glow. Now, sadly enough, Unfortunately for me, Chris loves her glow, but it is subdued and 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 classy. It's 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 a beautiful glow that looks like she is glowing from within. So it's not hey moon, see me all the way here from earth, here I am. So sadly for me, uh today I'm going to have to tone it down a little, which is fine. So I'm going to go back into that Jouer palette and this color right here looks perfect to highlight with. Yes, exactly. So it is giving me a lovely, lovely glow, but it isn't blinding, which I know, <laughs> I know, sad, sad day, but you know, sometimes it's nice to go a little softer. Who would have ever thought I would say that? That nice glistening glow that isn't too, too crazy. <laughs> All the haters out there are like, finally. All right, and I'm gonna follow through with the same shadow to highlight my nose. Chris does highlight her nose. It, um, it's just, just like her cheeks, not as vicious and insane. Now, one thing the Kardashians and the Jenners all love is a blinding Cupid's bow. Um, so I'm gonna go into this Tarte. Pro Glow to Go palette. I'm gonna go into this color Burst and we're really gonna blind that Cupid's bow because they love giving that Cupid's bow some love. Okay, now we can softly remove that powder and we're left with a clean beard. <laughs> and now as for lips, I've seen Chris wear a lot of lip. <laughs> she kind of alternates between matte and uh, super, super glossy, but sometimes it's like a nude, sometimes it's a light brown, sometimes it's a bright red. So she loves her lip products. She created Kylie Jenner, so and she loves it. So I have these new hourglass lipsticks right here and I went for the most, uh, like like the brownie nudes. So we have these two right here. So I'm gonna go for Believer. Oh wait, on the lips it's actually kinda light. Mama Jenner definitely wears something a little bit darker than this. So I'm gonna go back into Idealist. So we're definitely getting there. It's just not Mama Jenner right now. So I'm gonna go a little bit darker. 
Okay, okay, here we are. Okay, that's, okay, that's the spot. And one thing all the Jenners and Kardashians love is putting on so much lip gloss, but one thing in particular, they put like a, a gloop of gloss right here, just a little bit above the Cupid's bow, so just a little bit above it, and that is gonna give you the optical illusion of having fuller lips. It is a little bit crazy. I feel like it is cool for own photos, but in real life, you can definitely see like a goop of gloss chilling on your Cupid's bow. But you know, we're doing it, because we're doing it. We're gonna go in with Skinny Dip Lip Topper first. Okay, here we go, the Cupid's bow moment. And then kind of go like this and right here. Like that. That is a Kardashian Jenner mouth. And that guys concludes my Kris Jenner, or is it Chloe? Cause I feel like I look a lot like Chloe now. Uh, my Kris Jenner inspired makeup tutorial. For a full list of every single product mentioned and used, go to my description box below or my blog, NikkiTutorials.com. You can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat. That all is Nikki Tutorials. As always, if you enjoyed watching this video, then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I wanna thank you so much for watching again. I love you so much and hopefully I will see you on the next one.